right? So the idea is now we're going to take this diffused Wolverine and we're going to save it. Control Shift S. Let's go into our Wolverine. We're going to call this underscore D. So this is going to be for me a picture frame. So I'm going to do pick frame Wolverine D. And it's going to be a PNG. Savey save. I should have my Arma ready to go. So this is my Arma here. This is going to be an Arma file. So we're going to do a PNG. We're going to do an Arma. A-R-M-A. -A. Okay. Now the last thing that I want to do Let's see if uh, X normal's on here. I can't remember if it is or not. Woohoo! Yeah. What I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to run this system through the normal map filter just to see what happens. This wasn't necessarily planned, all right? But we're going to see what happens. So we're going to go grab our black and white drawing. We are going to duplicate this. Well, actually, it's already duplicated as an image. So image uh, adjustments, hue saturation, plop. OK, so I'm going to make the line work go up and everything else go down. So hit OK, Control I. This is going to be my normal map. I know the inside of the mouth is going to be up, but you know what? Let's do it anyways. Let's just see what happens. I could always do two. Yeah, let's just do two of them. Okay, so this is going to be a PNG for Wolverine. We're going to call this up, BW, up. Wait, blind, no, the dark is going to go down. Okay, so black and white, down. Okie dokie. Do another one, control I. This is gonna be another one here. Save as copy. And I'll send make sure to send these this file to you guys too, so you guys can see what's going on. And this is gonna be black and white up. So this program here is called X Normal. And what it does is it allows us to convert stuff to normal maps because Photoshop used to do it, and then it stopped doing things well. Then NVIDIA's got some new tools, which the school doesn't want to go download, which is fine. So we'll just use XNormal because it's available. So I'm going to go ahead and do uh, tools over here on XNormal. All right. And then we're going to go grab a black and white map and convert it to a normal map. So let's go find our texture. Okay. So here's one. Let's just drag it in. And then it's going to convert it over for us. So we right click in the window and do generate and now we has a normal map um, we need to change the depth because I don't know if it's picking it up on the video but it's a little diety so let's try to generate a new normal map okay so it's got to go the other way so the more the higher the number the smoother it is which means the more blurry it is so let's just do a value of one there we go that's what we want something in there okay so we're gonna right click and save the normal map and this is going to be, copy, copy. This is going to be normal map, PNG. This is going to be down. So this is going to be normal, zero, one. Sure. What? Oh, this is a weird thing in X normal. It's saying that the file doesn't exist. Do you want to create it? <laughs> That's a very odd way of doing things. Usually when you just save it, it just saves. But of course I want to create the file. So there's that. OK, now it's telling me it's got saved. So now I'm going to do one more. Let's go grab this one and then generate this. So this is going to be up. So we're going to do save normal map. And I'm going to save this as 01. OK. And I will throw this in the chat for everybody. Okay, I don't need you anymore, X Normal. Thank you for your time, your effort, and your energy. Goodbye. Now, why is this look like this? That's interesting. Maybe it's because I saved it as a PNG. Let's see. 
Let's go get some normal map blue in here. So we want uh, 128, 128, 255 for normal map blue. We're going to do a shift F5 and see what happens. Yeah, for whatever reason, the PNG saved it a little funny. Okay, so there's that. We'll just do that real quick, I guess. Flatten this image. Flatten, flatten. Save. Okay, let's open up the other one, which is here. Let's do an inverse of this one. Close that. Don't need that. Flatten this here. This is steps you don't have to do. It just you're learning from my mistakes. Don't save as a PNG. Just save as a target. Okay. Honest guy didn't know that what was going to happen. So that's fine. Okay. So we got two normal maps. I don't need this anymore. Got my regular system, so I can come back and paint this later. Okay, so now we've got two normal maps. Let me send that over to you into the chat. Boomity boom. And then when we go to 3D Max, we're going to make a new document, a uh, new plane. Okay, you guys don't have to do this. I'll send this to you in just a moment. Okay, so I'm going to go get a texture here and just throw it on here. Bloop. Let's go get a bitmap. And go find our Wolverine. <laughs> Any one of those will do. And what I'm doing is I'm pulling up the view image so I can do, okay, so it's 1200 by 800. So we can do 12 by 8. Okay, 12 by 8 is very huge. So uh, now that we have the proportions of this plane, let me send this over to origin. Okay, so a regular picture frame. Let's go look that up real quick. This is a real life situation. So we do a picture frame. Wow, picture frame sizes. we can do, let's see, pretty big one, 20 by 24, this is inches by the way, let's do 16 by 20, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new plane that's 16 by 20, that's pretty big, but that's feet, 16 uh, 20 inches by 16 inches. There we go. That's better. So the idea was, let's go find a real world dimension of a picture frame and scale this down to that size. Okay? And we can create a, a frame frame for this another time. Later, later, whenever. Okay, if I right click on the scale tool, I can scale up and down. Now, some of you, when you open the scale tool, when you right click on it, it might look like this. Okay, it's just because you have a different scale tool selected. So just use this one over here for uniform scale. And what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to match the top. Whoop. Whoop. So let's do 100.2. Okay, so let's try 100.05. Dang it. Okay, 100.06. Good. Now we know that, that the top of this is now 20 inches. So we can take this object. We're going to call this pick frame 20 by 16. Okay. File export selected. 
We are going to make a FBX, which is fine. Let's throw this in export. So we're going to do pick frame uh, 20 by 16. Okay, and it's also an object. So we want to make sure FBX format, I usually use 2019, and make sure your uh, stuff is sent in centimeters. That should be good. So we're going to drop this into the chat for you guys and then go uh, into a new video for Unreal. So this is our 20 by 16. And here we go. And see you in the next video.